again and welcome to NemusMarket.com or YouTube.com slash NemusMarket. Today I'm just sharing with you guys uh, two of my newest additions to my mini disc collection. Uh, these are both high MD. I purchased both of these off the internet, both off eBay as a matter of fact. This is the, I'll say infamous because it's extremely uh, sought after in the mini disc world. This is the MZ. RH1 high mini disc recorder and I have a video on this already uh, very cool awesome little display and this is the unit I bought so I wouldn't have to put so much wear and tear on this during playback and this is the MZEH50 now I got this for about a hundred bucks uh, and this like I explained before was about three hundred uh, and I got this from China I uh, bought this from a guy from China and it only took six days to get here which is pretty impressive considering this came priority and took six days to get here from the United States uh, from Florida as a matter of fact to Louisiana I already ran it a little bit about that earlier but I'm, I'm really amazed by this unit uh, and I you can tell this is used a little bit. It doesn't really bother me. Uh, like I said, I got it for a hundred bucks, and it's worth that to me not to put so much wear and tear on this unit. But uh, it came with a bunch of accessories. Uh, it came with a couple extra batteries as well as a docking station and a free mini disc. I don't know who this is. If anybody uh, understands or reads Chinese characters, please let me know who this band is. I haven't really listened to music, but uh, I was happy to get it. I don't know if that's Chinese, by the way. It could be uh, Japanese. Not sure. Uh, let me show some of the accessories with this, so I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. And here's a docking station for this, charging docking station. Uh, as, uh, as well as the power supply, which I'll have to get a converter for. Um, Luckily, though, uh, the batteries were charged, so I was able to test it right off the bat. I actually got two extra batteries as well as an additional battery chassis, uh, which I can use for a uh, standard, for a standard, I believe, uh, AA battery. Um, and got some free headphones. And believe me, I'll, I cleaned these off with <laughs> some anti, uh, or some disinfectant, rather, um, as soon as I got them. Uh, haven't put them in my ears, but uh, apparently I saw them on Amazon.com, and they were $90. I'm not sure about that, but uh, was, hey, they're free, and it came with a carrying case, which I'm pretty impressed with. This this uh, seller I bought from eBay uh, off uh, off of eBay obviously is pretty reputable, uh, or was to me at least. And I think I have one more battery. Hopefully, I didn't, or did it only come with two? I also have three batteries. So yeah, it came with three batteries, three rechargeable batteries. Uh, and uh, I don't know what to say about it except for I'm pretty pleased with it. The sound quality is great. Um, I put in a high mini, uh, high MD mini disc to uh, check it out and uh, play back fine. And uh, I have to say, if you have an existing mini disc collection, uh, you might want to look into the EH50 for playback only, especially if you already have it, MZRH1. Uh, because you you don't want to carry this around and uh, and dent it up and worry about it not being able to record. I mean, it's not like they're making any more. And these, like I said, I got this for for a hundred dollars. And then from the same seller, less than a week later, I saw one slipping off for fifty dollars. So I bought that. So that should be on this way. And if it's any if it's as fast as this one got here, should be here uh, maybe by the end of the, end of the week. And uh, so that way I'll be able to plug and play. Uh, parts out of this one and the other one if one fails me uh, but anyway very cool and uh, if you do, if you're not familiar with high MD check it out check out my other videos and there's some other videos and check out minidisc.org uh, it's a great site that I found out about uh, and uh, yeah so thanks for watching